I wonder what it would take to expand the stainless steel using this kit. Hello everyone, welcome to Challenge to Build and the continuation of the tool review on the Astro Tools exhaust pipe stretching kit. I'm using uh, number 78835 and if you're unfamiliar with what is going on here, you will have to look for uh, part one, which is the overall tool review of how I use it to stretch steel pipe and what you are looking at is a piece of two and three quarter inch OD stainless steel, 16 gauge, and using the Astro Tools kit plus my Bauer impact driver, uh, I was having an issue and could not expand it. I think we found the limits of the Bauer impact driver. So far the kit hasn't broken, but I want to know if the kit can expand stainless and if it can, what does it take to do that? And I did the only reasonable thing any person would do, I think, and went out and bought the baddest half inch impact driver I could find. This is the Milwaukee 2767-20 and if you have been familiar with Milwaukee as a brand, this is the original OG H96A serial number. Um, there's a lot of information regarding these kits. There was an issue between an H96A and an H96B. Uh, the, the H96B only affects the bare tool and Milwaukee is taking quick strides to correct it. I believe they have pulled all of the old serial numbers off and have reverted back to the original style that they manufactured. So like I said, there's tons of information out regarding uh, this kit. I purchased the full kit. This is the 2767-22. So there will be a more in-depth tool review on this particular kit. However, that's not what we're here for right now. We're here for the Astro Tools uh, exhaust pipe stretching kit. I have the expander set up in the pipe. I have a full charge on the battery and I have it only set on number two. There's three impact ratings, one, two, and three. Uh, I have it set on two, so we'll try two. And then if that's not enough, we'll jump to three and give it a shot. I see possible two things happening here. One, or three, really. One, I'm gonna break the expander. Two, the pipe is going to expand. Or three, worst case scenario, is I'm gonna grenade the impact gun. So let's challenge the build and challenge this piece of pipe.
Well, after four attempts on setting number two, we still got a full charge. I am barely moving it. It's doing a little bit better, fractional, than my Bauer. Uh, you saw me change it up in the vise to kind of take some of that movement away. I feel like I'm talking really loud. <clears throat> um, it's kind of an optical illusion. You're probably gonna tell yourselves, well, you can't really expand it with it sitting in the vise like this. And if you look, you can, see move, you can see a little bit of space on either side. And it is moving ever so slowly. But with setting number two on this driver, the range of speed is zero to 1400 RPMs. And it has zero to 1,750 impacts per minute. Setting number three goes to zero to 1750 RPMs and produces zero to 2100 impacts per minute. So what's that? 350 more impacts per minute and 350 RPMs more. So here's level two. And here's level three. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all the juice to it and try this again. And either it's going to work or it will just be a complete waste of money. Stainless steel wins, but we'll have our answer of whether or not this kit can successfully expand stainless. Here goes nothing. We've got full charge on the battery. We got it set to the power number of three. Let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Three, two, one. a little bit more but it stopped we're gonna do it again got a lot more juice behind it I'll tell you that much and it definitely uh, expanded more the question is did it expand enough so let me back it out I don't think it did. It definitely did not. Well, this is quite an interesting turn of events. I've got one more option left for this, and that is going to be using the expander only halfway trying to expand the first inch and then coming back and trying to expand another one. So we're gonna kind of cut the tension in half. So here we go again. We drop down one notch. I have another battery uh, charged and ready to go. So here we go again. We had great success that time. So I'm gonna slide it back in all the way and try to expand that other end. Woo! 
A lot of juice, baby. Let's see how we did on that one. Oh, she's moving now. Question is, will we be able to get it? Let's try it again. We're gonna go for the first inch. So what I'm watching, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but as I'm expanding, once I take the expander out, it's shrinking back down. So definitely having one heck of a time getting this to expand to fit the exhaust pipe. Kind of good news and bad news. Good news is I haven't broke anything yet. The bad news is it's still not technically working. So I'm gonna reset the pipe. I'm going to grab my full battery and continue working on this to see exactly how much time and what kind of effort I have to put in to expanding this piece of 16 gauge stainless two and three quarter inch outside diameter 90 degree. So, wow. So you can see it. It's not expanding as evenly as the steel. That last round really definitely took a beating. And we'll try it again. At this point, it's do or die now. We gotta see exactly what is gonna be involved in expanding this. This sucker is a little warm. I wanna spray this with some lithium real quick. Try again. One more time with the battery and then I'll switch it because I think this is I feel like at some point we're gonna break something. I just can't seem to get around full circumference. It's close, it still ain't there. I'm gonna put the new battery on and try it again. Uh, this time I think I'm gonna put the new battery on, slip it all the way in and then go for a full expansion because I feel expansion all the way around this pipe, but I gotta even it out. So reset, new battery, try it again. Fresh charge, still on number three. He's a little warm, but I think this will be our last attempt. Um, we'll kind of do a, an overview after we give it some juice. So here we go, one more time. Three, two, one.
taking a beating. Hasn't broke yet. If anything, we definitely put this through a, a proper stress test. And uh, still, just cannot get this to expand. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I want it to work. I'm close. I'm not ready to give up yet. I feel like I'm gonna break something, but keep going. If the first you don't succeed, try, try again. time trying to hold this damn thing in the vise. You can see that it's expanding, but I can't get can't get it to expand evenly. It keeps shrinking back as I take out the expander. So Still battling it. It's nice to know that the uh, Astro Tools expander is built well. If, if we learned anything, they built a pretty good expander. And hit it up again. This sucker is hot. I can honestly say I think the uh, lithium grease really does help. It makes a mess, but I really feel as though it's helping prolong the life of the expander. Here we go again. Three, two, one. Leave it in there for a minute. You know what I need that I don't have? I need a thermometer. An infrared thermometer. So I can take measurements of how hot this is getting. This reference. Maybe for the next time, right? That parts or was that grease? Up oh, there it is. Catastrophic catastrophic failure. It wasn't the wasn't the impact gun. There it was. Okay, so Now we know, we definitely put it to its limits. And it's not a major failure, none of the rubber bands broke. However, we're losing, we're losing bearings. We heated the bearings up and now I'm really making a mess of this. Oh well, that puts it to the end of the test, so. Now we're just in it for scientific evaluation. What happened? And I bet you it's not terrible. I bet you I can go to the store and buy a new bearing. So, geez a whiz. This bad boy is hot. Hot, hot, hot. So the bolt's in good shape, but unfortunately, we found the limits of the bearing. So.
So surprisingly, I thought maybe the bolt would break, but the bearing let go. And let's see if we have an, let's see if we got rewarded for breakage. And unfortunately, it is just a tad still not there. So I'm going to clean up. I'm going to wash my hands, come back, and kind of do a recap and a summary, and then wrap up this uh, part two of the review, maybe. At this point, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to call this. Review slash... Uh, scientific limit testing, I suppose. Let's continue to challenge the build. So I did wrap up uh, yesterday's video uh, with a little bit of a disappointment. It is the, it is the following day. Uh, obviously, uh, I was unable to expand the elbow to the distance that I needed for this pipe to be able to slip in. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is relatively close. The expander is expanding the pipe, but unlike the steel, it is not expanding it um, equally. So you can see it's kind of oblong here. Uh, we did have the failure with the stretcher. Uh, the bearing finally let go. Uh, I took a couple pictures that you will be seeing right now of the shape the bearing is in. One of the things that I think happened on the last impact is when the bearing failed, the inside of the bearing rested on the face of the expander. It has kind of worn into the face of the steel and I think what had happened was, is if you look at the bearings, so I've never personally seen this. I'm sure it's not necessarily uncommon. Uh, obviously, the, the bearing is a no-name brand bearing. Not sure exactly how much that would play a part. But if you look, the bearings actually split in half. I'm having a hard time showing you, but I'll put a picture up as well. The bearings actually split in half from the actual impacting of it. Um, the good news with all of this <clears throat> is I found a replacement bearing for the kit already. Thankfully, the bearing number is stamped on this one, and it's still there enough for me to read it. Uh, this bearing is an LM11949, which cross-references to a national and or Timken number, which is great. This is a national brand. Uh, this is LM11949. And I'm not gonna get involved in repairing the stretcher kit today and then continuing to stretch the stainless. This is how we're gonna end today's video and the review. Uh, but I at least wanted to input some of this information in it. So this way here, for the people that um, have had theirs for a while and may have experienced the same problems, know that there is a replacement. This bearing was like $11. So um, I said in the video that it wasn't, um, that the rubber bands didn't break. I kind of laughed at myself when I said that. It should have been reversed. Uh, the bearing broke, which was a big deal, uh, but replaceable. So overall, uh, the thing that I was most concerned with was the bolt. The bolt is in really good condition still. So it's just gonna be a matter of pressing on the new bearing, putting it all back together, and then going at the stainless one more time. So we'll do a third video because I'm still, I'm not giving up on this yet. It is working, uh, but not as well as I had hoped. As far as the review on this bad boy, um, I can't really say anything bad about it. This thing is a beast. It is still working fantastic. It definitely put it through the paces. And um, if you are in the market for an impact driver, um, might as well just go with the best. I'm kind of partial because this is the only one I have compared to my electric Bauer. Obviously, whether this is the best, everybody's partial to their own opinions. Um, keep in mind that all of these tools 
have been purchased directly by me. These have not been given to me, and this is um, none of these videos, none of my review videos are sponsored videos from any company. These are tools that I specifically search out and have either wanted or needed for the things that I do in my shop. So I have spent my own money on all of these tools. So my reviews reflect that in the fact that I'm not influenced in any way to say good or bad things about any tool. It's one man's honest opinion on how I use them, what I learn from them, and ultimately try to um, teach and show people um, how I use them and different things that I learn from them. So definitely a, a buy, awesome piece of equipment. The Bauer held up for even the steel. I'm kind of long-winded, so I'm sorry. Uh, I was messing around with the Milwaukee on setting two and mild steel and took this piece of two and a half inch mild steel pipe all the way out to three and an eighth. So the expander does a bang up job on steel. I did read in the manual or the instruction sheet um, intended use of the tool. The exhaust pipe stretcher kit is for expanding mild steel exhaust pipes to make perfect exhaust seals with smaller diameter piping. Do not use this tool outside of the designed intent. Never modify the tool for any other purpose or use. I read through the entire sheet. It does not say anything about not using it for stainless. The only thing that it says down here in the bottom right hand corner is warning. Use with stainless exhaust may accelerate tool wear lubricate well and I cannot um, agree with that more. Obviously the stainless put the tool through its paces. You're definitely going to need to grease the bearing and the thread some more. Overall, fantastic kit. Um, depending on whether or not you have fa failures, we have bearing replacements now. So if you're doing exhaust work, the Astro Tools 78835 is a definitely a must buy. Um, if you're in the market for an impact driver, take a look at the Milwaukee M18. This is their half inch high torque impact gun. I will have a full review out on this um, at a later date. Overall, it was a successful video, unsuccessful in the stainless, but I will be back to that in an upcoming video. So thanks for watching. I'm sorry I'm long winded, but lots of information. And once I get going, it's hard to stop. So thanks for watching. Get out there, go challenge your build. I will uh, look forward to seeing you in an upcoming video and or review.